today we will be learning about this subject research methodology so to start with just some background on this subject research so when i say research here this would not necessarily mean uh, medical research or uh, any scientific research this has to do more with the marketing perspective so this is research methodology keeping in mind marketing and uh, how does the process happens so this subject is more uh, theoretical and this will explain you or you will learn about uh, the process or the methods which are used in research though i will uh, share uh, business application business application i mean how this is relevant to different domains say like a telecom industry or uh, an automobile industry an oil and gas industry where can this be used and what are the various applications in those various industries okay so let's start with chapter 1 fundamentals of research so fundamentals of research what this covers is this will cover what is research scope and significance of research and different types of research so introduction what is research so let me take a step back someone has to ask me what's the difference between data and information okay you get information looking at data and analyzing data and if i have to talk about research you have data from data you get information and from information you come to research conclusions so research refers to the search of knowledge knowledge could be in any domain any any industry as far as uh, the research industry goes the market research industry globally it's pretty huge even in india all fmcg to telecom to automobile to oil and gas most of the industries have a research division a market research division within their organization and there are market research agencies like nielsen imrb millward brown and various others who operate extensively in india and abroad as well so again the question is research is an art of scientific investigation so someone could debate like is research an art how i would say is it's not an art and it's not a science either it's a combination of both science is the process which you follow the steps which you follow the art is to come up with an objective the hypothesis and to a conclusion and how do you interpret the information you capture from the market or after doing your research you will learn more about this as we deep dive into the topic but for now research is a combination of both so you need some processes plus you need a very good domain understanding which will eventually then give you a gut feeling that what can you do with the the outcome of research so why do various organizations or various people do research okay so identifying and finding solutions so in today's world if you go to any organization and when you are in a board meeting on a brainstorming session all good leaders or good organizations they spend a significant amount of time in first identifying the right problem so it's no use if you just jump on to the solution without identifying the right problem so it's very important first that you identify the right problem so that i mean there is not a situation that uh, if there are 10 people working on a problem everyone is pushing the wall in a different direction it should be that everyone is pushing the wall in the same direction and everyone is very clear on what the problem is so identifying and finding solutions to problem again this says solutions which is plural which means that there could be multiple solution to a specific problem what is best suited to your uh, case in point and to your uh, specific uh, point of discussion is what you have to follow okay again research helps in making decisions so again decision making it facilitates decision making so say for example if you want to launch three bikes 200 cc 250 cc and 300 cc as an organization as a company you have the technology to launch all the three bikes but any sensible organization would not launch three bikes at once 
so this will help you to decide that so what things you will look at is is the market ready for say a 200 cc bike or a 250 cc bike or 300 cc bike say if you have to launch a bike in india how many more uh, bikes are there in that particular segment how much profit will you get if you launch a 200 cc bike or 250 cc bike or 300 cc bike okay and what's the probability of each bike being a success so it depends on a lot of things so this will help you facilitate that decision so what happens is if if there is a product manager or a brand manager or board of directors if they decide that yes we feel that we should launch a 250 cc bike but that's all qualitative qualitative discussion so you want something which can quantify and which can give you certainty by certainty i mean when you're launching a bike it's investing like hundreds of crores so you want to be certain that your decision is right and there are high chances of this being a success to develop new concepts and idea again there is a different subject altogether called new product development in various organization fmcg which is fast moving consumer goods so say like a Unilever or a Procter & Gamble or a Dabur, most of them have a dedicated team called for new product development. So what happens is, uh, say one fine day, there'll be a brainstorming session where people from various divisions, from production, finance, sales, marketing, IT, few people from various divisions, they will get into a room and discuss new ideas and new concepts. And looking at this dynamic market things are evolving every day so how do these new ideas develop okay so this everyone knows means ideas sometimes it's that eureka moment when you get that idea but this gives you a scientific approach to evolving an idea an idea which is acceptable in the market next is to find out the alternative strategies for the existing non-competent strategies. So when you are an organization and you implement some strategies and while implementing or executing a strategy, there is a monetary aspect involved and any organization would want to or most organizations, they evaluate or evaluate and monitor that what's the outcome of these strategies. So you could come up with alternative strategies and if say you have implemented two things and one thing is not working out so you come up with an alternative of what you can do with uh, or is there an alternative to that strategy and say if that's not working why is it not working okay 